Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to develop another QR code based API with the help of ChatGPT. And our task for this lecture, as you can see on my screen, generating a QR code using ChatGPT to quickly send an SMS. And the question that I framed for this requirement is, this endpoint allows you to create a QR code that allows user to quickly send SMS. The code contains appropriately encoded recipient number and message template. After scanning the code, device message application is invoked with the pre-filled phone number and the text means the message content ready to be sent. To send SMS, the user only needs to press the send button. The QR code should be visible in a HTML file for the user to scan and test. Interesting, right guys? Yes, this is also a real-time use case which we are going to implement. And before that, let me copy this question, selected entire question, control C, and let us go to chat GPT. As you can see, I already logged into chat GPT, control V, and hit that enter button and see how chat GPT is going to respond to our question. It is saying some, uh, you know, suggestions instead of generating. Let us see how it is going to. So it is started writing the code. Example HTML code it is saying. Okay. It has written very little bit, which I don't like. I'm going to ask chat GPT to rewrite, regenerate response. I just click that button. Let us see how it is going to respond again. Okay. Okay. No. Our intention was to get the code from chat GPT for this requirement. That too in Python and Flask. And that code snippet has to show the QR code in a HTML file so that user can scan it. That is our requirement. Let me ask. Can you write it in Python and Flask and HTML? Hit that submit button. Let us see. See, it is started writing. Okay. If you can observe that data variable is holding phone number and the body of that message and it should save the QR code. Now it is referring to static directory. No problem. Let us wait. It is writing. Yeah, it is done writing. Now it is writing some HTML code for that for our QR code to display. Okay. Okay. Let us not worry about this export Flask app. That you know, app that by this is some you know. If you want to run this application as a Flask application, then you can run. But we are going to run it as a Python script. Okay. Let me go up. Let me copy this piece of code and test it whether it is going to work or not, guys. Okay. I am creating a new file. I'm just clicking on some empty space and creating a new file sms underscore qr underscore api dot pi hit enter and control v save it the telephone number here i mentioned this and the message body is like hello there don't worry about this percentage 20 it is like uh, you know a space percentage 20 always refers to space don't worry about that and it is going to you know save this qr code in the static directory but unfortunately if you can see here there is another qr underscore code dot png right so let me uh, change this name sms code dot png okay other or otherwise sms underscore qr underscore code dot png control s don't worry and also it is referring to index.html right let me put sms.html control s it means that this render template under templates directory we should create sms.html file 
but still we are going to use the same code that is given by chat gpt to us let me move a little bit up yeah this is the code okay now i'm going to templates directly i just click on that and i'm clicking on this plus icon for creating a new file and we put our sms.html file right in uh, the python script under this lem render template directory sorry and render template function and i am hitting enter now this sms.html file is created under templates directory this one right now let me go back to chat gpt copy this code okay and uh, you will go to visual studio code paste it here also we changed our uh, this qr code name also right so just copy that name go to sms.html and the file name here it has referred to previous one i am changing this name here sms underscore qr underscore dot png i am referring to under static directory that's these are simple simple modifications guys we are we did not return you know uh, anything as the name that says chat gpt had given was already there under static directory so i changed the you know qr code name to this and also i changed uh, the index.html file that was given by chat gpt to sms.html file this is for for our you know uh, understanding only there is nothing to do much with it python space and uh, what is this we had written sms qr api right so i just put sms and tab qr api.py is coming hit that enter button just like that so it is running here let me see the endpoint that it is pointing to it is a slash means we can use this particular url for getting the qr code open the browser new tab control v hit enter it's coming and this qr code for sending sms okay excellent let me test that you i hope we also do the same so i'm just scanning it yeah it's a uh, scanned and now it is opening my sms thing let me see that body how it is going to see so data is this and the telephone number is this it is saying and it is coming just like this as you can see okay so that's good guys i hope you like this lecture very well and if you observe here this sms qr code is coming here as well you can scan from here as well no need to worry about this html page even don't worry that's all about this lecture uh, see you in the next lecture thank you so much